Okay, welcome everybody. It's Monday afternoon and we are talking about convex lenses. Uh, before we start, you may want to hit pause and go into, um, it's up on Moodle, there's a, there's a convex lens simulation, or you could just type FET, P-H-E-T, simulation, geometric optics. Okay, and if, if you do that, you'll get a screen that, that looks like this. Okay, FET simulations, physics, light and radiation, and geometric optics. Okay, all right. Um, if, if you may want to hit pause and go through that, because right now what we have is we have three, Im um, we have an object and an image. Okay, and uh, what we can do is we can work through it. So hit pause right now and load that up. Okay, let's get started. First things up is convex lenses. There's a couple things you need to be familiar with. Okay, you have a lens and you have a principal axis that runs through the lens. Okay, it's an imaginary line that runs perpendicular to the lens right through the middle. You also have focal points and focal points are points where refracted light that runs parallel to the principal axis where it converges. Okay, there's some people out there who played around with magnifying glasses. The focal point is where sunlight converges to make a bright, bright spot on the lens. Okay. Okay, so we're back, and you have the focal point and the principal axis. And the focal point, as I said, sorry about that, is, a, is the point where parallel light converges on a single point. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to use those things to predict where images form with lenses. Convex lenses are the same type of lens that's in your eye. It's the same type of lens that are used with cameras and LCD projectors. And it's the same type of lens that you use with a magnifying glass. All right, so let's get started. Ray diagrams, okay, do two things. They show what direction that light is refracted light rays are refracted and it also shows you where images meet or where images form um, for convex lenses okay an image forms wherever refracted light rays meet so if the refracted light rays meet behind the lens you get a real image and if they meet in front of the lens you get a virtual image and we'll show you that right now this is a real image that's a real image because the refracted rays really do meet at this real point in space. Okay, so here's your object that sends light rays out and the refracted rays meet and you get a real image. Now, to make a ray diagram for convex lenses, you need three light rays. Light ray number one, light ray number two, and light ray number three. Okay, light ray number one starts out from the object runs parallel to the principal axis and refracts through F, the focal point. There it goes. Light ray number two is the easiest one. It starts at the object, it goes through the lens at the principal axis and keeps going. It does not refract. Light ray number three runs through the focal point on the object side in front of the lens and refracts parallel to the principal axis. Okay, so you have runs parallel, refracts through F, runs through F, refracts parallel, and finally hits at the principal axis and keeps going. And in this case, the three points, the three refracted rays meet at this point and you get a real image. Okay, let's flip over to the FET simulation. What I've done is I've opened the simulation, and this is my object that I can hopefully move around. Okay, and I've selected principal rays, and you can see we have the same three rays that I just told you about. Ray number one, ray number two, ray number three. And those same three rays, they refract. First one goes parallel and through F. Second one, straight through at the principal axis, keeps going. The third one runs through F and refracts parallel, and they meet and form an image. And if I move that object back and forth, my image moves with it. Okay. All right. Now, this works if the object is outside the focal point. If the object is inside the focal point, you get what's called a magnifying glass. And magnifying glasses work like this. Same three rules apply. Okay. Remember, looking at light ray number one, if it runs parallel to the principal axis, it refracts through F. 
Okay, here's our light ray number one. It runs parallel to the principal axis and it refracts through F. Light ray number two. Okay, before, same rule. Light ray number two hits the lens at the principal axis and keeps going. Light ray number two with a magnifying glass hits at the principal axis and keeps going. Now the problem is these two light rays, refracted rays number one and two, they don't cross each other over here. They're moving away from each other. And so you're not going to get a real image because these refracted rays are not going to cross on this side of the lens. All right, light ray number three is a little tougher to see. You start at the object and you go towards the lens as if the light came from the focal point. Let me show you. You see this, here's your object and here's a light ray that moves up towards the lens. If I take a line, a ruler, and I start at F, start at the focal point, and I draw it through the object, it hits there. Okay? This is a light ray that hits the lens as if it came from the focal point. And the same rules apply, that light ray will refract parallel to the principal axis. So now I have refracted rays number one, number two, and number three, and as you can see, they don't cross on this side of the lens, so I don't get a real image because the light rays don't really cross. However, they appear to cross, if I trace these three light rays back, they appear to cross back here. Light ray number one, light ray number two, and light ray number three, the refracted rays, if I trace them backwards, they meet at this point, and so I get a virtual image because the light rays don't actually cross here but it looks like they do and that's how a magnifying glass works if you're looking at my eye my eye is your object okay and I put a lens in front of it okay and the object now appears bigger and it appears bigger because the refracted light from my eye seems to meet over here okay that's a magnifying glass and that's a virtual image Let's take a look at it with the FET simulation. If I take, I'm just going to change the curvature of this, make it a little bigger, okay? If I take my object and I pull it inside the focal length, there it is. Okay, here's my object here. Same three rules. Here's ray number one, parallel, refracts through F. Light ray num number two, okay, hits at the principal axis keeps going. Light ray number three appears to come from F and refracts parallel. And if I trace those three light rays back, which this green line does, you can see you get a virtual image. All right, that's a magnifying glass. Okay, the last thing I don't have a slide for, but it's in your homework, so I wanted to go over it. Okay, if you have an object outside the focal point, you get a real image, like this. If you have an object inside the focal point, you get a virtual image, like this. But what happens if the object is on the focal point? Okay, if the object is on the focal point, here's what you get. This light ray and this light ray, they never cross. They never meet each other. And so because they never meet each other, there's no image. There's no image behind the lens. There's no image in front of the lens. And you may see that. I'll try and make it happen for you. If I pull my eyeball away from this lens, there's a point where you can no longer see my eye. Okay? That occurs when my eye is at the focal point. All right? That's it. That's convex lenses. So um, be sure we're in our last week of content, guys. So be sure you come and get some help. Ask lots of questions. And um, yeah, good luck. Take care.